First, you have to open the hood. There is a latch down here. Then, on the right side from the Volkswagen sign, there is a little handle. You have to press it like so. Here is the handle. And on the side over here, there is a little leg which goes into that hole and the hood is secured. Then in the engine bay, locate the oil dipstick and the engine oil cap. You can open it and leave it like so on top in order for the air to go in and evacuate the old oil much faster. Then lift the car from the both front wheels. So down here next to the wheel, there is a round rubber support. And I'm gonna place the support on this solid suspension side. I did the same on the other side. Next, put some glasses on, take your tools with you including the oil filter socket or adaptive socket, depending what you have, and some recipient to collect the old oil. And under here, right in the middle of the car, there is the oil filter, the white one. And a little bit further towards the driver side, you'll find the drain bolt. And with a 19 millimeter socket, undo the drain bolt, so the recipient is right under it and with the hand I'm gonna come from this angle. You can avoid getting oil on, on your fingers and on your hand. Also another technique is to apply pressure on the bolt while undoing it. In that way you not have any surprise of oil getting spilled. When you realize that it's not opening anymore then you can just pull it and suddenly the oil will come out. All right, I'm prepared here. So let's see, there we go. You can see my fingers. There is absolutely no oil. There is some blood there. There is no oil. I tried to remove this oil filter in many ways. It doesn't come out. So with the tools I have available right now, I will have to remove the radiator and everything in front of it in order to make space for my tools to catch on this filter and remove it. As you can see, I already bent it. So I use this type of chain socket. You'll have to purchase new tools. All right, so hopefully you could remove your filter. Just tight in the bolt with the new washer. So next, I'm gonna torque the bolt to 17 foot pounds. All right, so here is 20. I'm gonna go to 17. Let's suppose that you also change the filter. Just pour in the oil on the screen. You'll find how much oil is needed for this engine. After you added the oil, take out the dipstick. First, clean it up. And now you should be able to read the oil level is right in the middle. The level should be between these two points, obviously. Finally, place back the cap and you're good to go. All right, guys, that was it. I apologize for not showing you how to remove that oil filter. At least now you know what to expect before doing your oil change. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.